Look who's back at work. I'm back. Oh man, how's it feel? Oh, it was sad leaving the house this morning. Was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I came, I was here last Monday, like to record the pop and a couple of other things. So like I've, I've like left to go to work before, but this was like, I will be here all week. And we have, um, we have a lot of fun stuff this week, like our Tuesday Patreon call and uh, tr trivia stream on Friday where we're like announcing the new coffee mugs for the year yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So it's all very fun stuff, but I'm also coming back to a very busy week. And yeah. So I'm, I am absolutely already looking forward to like Saturday morning where it'll be like another fresh stretch of time where I just get to like be home with Addison for 48 hours. So it'll be good. Yeah. But it's good to be back too. I'll tell you what else is good is that we finally, we've been trying to get these in the office as part of our snack game for like months now. And at long last, the Stroop waffles have arrived. Okay, so another cool thing that happened today. One of my favorite parts about our office right here, this room is that skylight because in the middle of the day, it lights up the entire room with like really natural lighting. It looks great. Uh, unfortunately, the set is also in here. So when we shoot, we'd have to close the skylight because uh, it affects lighting, like depending on if it's cloudy or something outside. In order to do that, we used to have to go get this annoying hook and pull blinds shut. And I don't know if you've ever used blinds before, but they just don't work very well most of the time especially an overhead horizontal one and of course eventually and I knew as soon as we were buying the split that it was going to break and it did but today is a great day because after a month of sitting in the dark with it broken having to use crummy light bulbs to light our office it has been fixed and now watch this are you ready are you ready look at it go it's on a remote control oh That was so smooth. And now it can be bright in here again. Although right now it's really dark. Hello friends, I'm cooking something. So I thought, why don't I turn the camera on? Cause all the kids are upstairs and therefore they can't bother us, right? Even though I know they're probably more fun to watch. I am making a recipe called queso chicken chili. Okay, we've got some corn, jalapenos, and bell peppers that we're gonna roast in the oven. And in here, I've got some chicken and salsa simmering away. Ooh, check out that steam. And I hear some babies crying, so gotta go with the kids. Who is it? It's Nick. If someone's crying, there's like a 85% chance it's Nicholas. Right? Oh, goodness. I know. It's okay, we still love you. I went and got Nick and I 100% forgot that those vegetables are roasting. I was like, what is that smell? Oh crap, there's something in the oven. So um, let's see if it's burnt. Oh no, it looks great, it looks great, okay. Mm -hmm. Just hold it. Good and thing. That is good, look, the chicken sauce shredded up. Let me do it. That's a cool. You can put it in the pot. Watch out, the pot's hot. Oh, I love doing chicken. <laughs> you love doing chicken? It's pretty fine, isn't it? That squash is like silly. That's silly. This squash? Yes. This butternut squash is silly? Yeah. Why is it silly? Because it, it's a funny shape. <laughs> it is a funny shape, you're right. Mommy? Yeah? Can I hold this? For a second. Okay, next we're gonna put in the beans. Can you do that? Yes, yes. Here, how about I hold this and you use that spoon to scrape them in for me. I was, I was gonna get this for that. There we go. Stirring it up. Set down mm, that. that looks delicious. Uh, Last step, cream cheese. Luke just said, that's for bagels. It is for bagels, Luke but it can also be used in other things. Okay, Luke and I are gonna make some cornbread to go with our soup. Look, Daddy, we're vlogging. Are you guys vlogging? I'll let you get back to it. Gently, gently, gently. Daddy, Daddy does it fast. Well, I don't think so. We gotta start slow so it won't spread around. Then you can get it faster if you want. Oh, a spoon could be better. 
better. A spoon should be better for me. Ow. How's your cornbread and chili? Mm. Well, thank you. How's yours? It's very good. What do you think, Luke? All right, time to unbox some cards, as ever, as part of my Pokemon card unboxing vlog, you know. Uh, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Who knew? Who knew? So, uh, th these have been funny because the Pokemon company sent us nearly a complete set of all the, like, little goodies and stuff before they all came out to unbox. And I had also gone through, without knowing they were going to send us those, and bought... <laughs> Basically one of everything. Basically one of everything. So we got two. And they all had different release dates. So this is, like, one of the ones that just happened to show up. Yeah. Alice said that everybody shows up, everything shows up to my house. She said that she's going to start a jar and I have to put a dollar in it every time a Pokemon thing shows up at our house. That's ridiculous. So you can buy more Pokemon stuff, I assume. Obviously, the Pokemon fun. So anyway, this is our second Pokemon lunchbox. Luke has been using the other one for school, which I like. No way! Like, yeah. as his lunchbox? As his lunchbox. Oh, that's amazing. Anyway, let's see what's inside. Stuff! <gasps> Stuff! Those are the promo cards that come with it. You can't actually play them, but they're cool. We are down to two cards left on our celebrations list. It is the Mewtwo and the Golden Mew. The first time we pulled one of these, I was so excited. I swear, we're just gonna do giveaways at some point now. <laughs> Yet another. Next up is this promo Pikachu Zekrom box. It, this card is already out of rotation, but they did print a super uh, exclusive gold version, so we had to have. Giant card. Mm. What do we do with these? I've got a stack of them on my desk. There's the wee one. Oh yeah. Real fans pants. Flourish! Well, it's an ice rider. It's not alternate art, but there you go. Oh, I got a Galarian wheezing. Oh. There we go. Metagross. Just four guys in a staircase. Everyone is coming over to Bethany's tonight to discuss a big upcoming family trip that I am very excited about. I've been sent to the store to get the essentials, wine and beer. Always a tricky decision. You gotta make sure you get some, some like creative things that are gonna appease everyone, but you know, you don't wanna be like too crazy. They still got to enjoy it. My go-to strategy for buying wine, always just pick what has the craziest artwork on the label. That, cause I don't know enough about it to make informed decisions, but it, it that is always fun. You can always be like, look at this bottle. Ho ho, we have a winner. Hello, okay. Miss Addison. Hi, can I distribute some sauce here? Do you guys trust me? T. Weiler. What's up? What's Jay. Happening? Finn, can you give me the high five? <laughs> Boop! Yeah, nicely done! Oh, it's awesome. I'm, 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 so many babies here. <laughs> Look at Finn. He's got a little pumpkin spice latte. Oh, you're so trendy. Ben, what are we working on today? Well, once upon a time, I had the not so bright idea of um, doing like blazing wings as a part of a J versus Ben, so yeah. that every time we missed a question, we had to eat uh, an extremely spicy wing as like a punishment. And I, at the time, it seemed like a great idea. And now that it's here, it feels like an awful idea. Yeah, so we have all of our wings here. We have our sauce to be applied there. And uh, we have themed it as the Goblet of Fire quiz, so that we will have a physical goblet on the set uh, filled with our fiery wings. And if we get one wrong... Are you nervous? I am not nervous, no. You're not nervous? No. I, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to eat those words and chicken wings. First one. I think you're going to be in for it. Um, ah, we uh, Okay, if you're unfamiliar, you can do like the blazing challenge at Buffalo Wild Wings. We have to eat like 12 wings in under six minutes. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Flew through that no problem, which 
at the time was surprising to me. That was surprising because I, I thought it was gonna be worse. I can feel beads of sweat for <laughs> my know. face. Cause like I had a blazing wing before then and I thought I was gonna die. But then like in the moment, like my adrenaline was pumping, I flew through it, no problem. Wow. <laughs> my my issue is usually not eating it. It's It's later. It's later. Yeah. It's later. <laughs> Well, I can't speak to that, but I, and who knows, maybe I'm about to suffer. I guess, uh, we'll see. I'm sweating a lot, though. I, know. I can feel it starting to come down to my, my forehead, <clears throat> or my temples. My tongue is sweating, is what it feels like. All right, Kat, what are you doing? Uh, I am saucing up some wings. Getting the sauce. With, uh, what's the sauce called? Blazing. Blazing. Blazing wings. Blazing. See if that's any good. Okay, here's, here's a question. Yeah. Glory. <laughs> Behold, we're doing special lighting for the glamour shot of the wings. His is gonna look a lot better. Well, you look really evil right now, though. You're all red. <laughs> Jordan, you seem a little too excited for this episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, it's not every day you get to be paid to see your bosses in pain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have we gotten ourselves into? I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. That, the enthusiasm of literally everybody in the office is electric. <laughs> and I'm like, my heart's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> So today, um, Luke wanted to get out Play-Doh, and Nick and Nate are playing with Play-Doh for the first time. I don't really know how it's gonna go, but I think it's gonna be fun. Look what Nate did! Boom! You can play with all that food because it's all good. You need to open it. Open. Open. I like stacking these things up. Oh! Oh! Oopsie! He got one. I'm making a stack of pancakes. Oh, I need that. And I, hey, and I, oh, and this one. We can use this to like cut a sheet out of it. Ooh. Ooh, did you make a heart? Whoa, look at this. Hey, okay, give me the little thing where you squeeze it out. Oh, oh, spaghetti thing. Wow. Oh, 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 now I can do it. Oh, that's right. Let me see your ball. I can also do like this. I can also do this one. Yeah. Now I can do the rainbow. Oh, yeah. Show us how it works. Wait, you have to squeeze it. Look. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Amazing. Give it to me now. Okay, today is very exciting. We do a lot of like trivia live streams on SCB, but today is like the trivia live stream of like the whole year because it is the one where we are revealing our brand new animal mugs, which we've done for the past few years. They are always so cool. And uh, we just got some here in the office. They look amazing. Are you ready? Are you ready? These are already, the chances are by the time you're seeing this, they're gone, but Either way, I'm gonna show them to you now. Got our eagle mug, sleepy lion, dare I say. Badger! And of course, obviously the best one, the snake. I love like the very minimalist uh, artwork we had done this year. I think it came out so good and I love the shape of them. Uh, can't wait to, to drink some coffee out of it. This one, uh, this one's probably my, my favorite mug, but it's actually not my favorite mug right now because it actually doesn't have any coffee in it. Okay, we're eight minutes out from the live stream. Very excited, just got dressed and ready for the day. And I decided now it's time to bust out another super fun pin. So one of the things that Ben always gets a lot of credit for is his super fun fancy jackets and all sparkling stuff, but I'm secretly going to one up him because I am in fact instead wearing Ben's sparkly jacket. <laughs> Boom, animal mugs. They look so good. What are you eating here? Nothing. Nothing? It looks like chocolate and yogurt. What are we gonna do this morning? 
Okay, so this morning, Beth is actually running in the Star City Half Marathon. It's like her second half marathon inside of a month. So she's been running like crazy lately. Uh, me and the boys have been getting ready to uh, bundle up because it is cold outside and we're gonna head down and hopefully catch the finish of the race. We really better catch the finish of the race because otherwise I'll have gone through a lot of effort loading everyone into the car for nothing. And that would suck. Hey boys, you ready to go cheer for mommy? Luke, you ready? All right, we made it to the finish line. Before Beth finished, actually we have like, I think another 20 minutes or so to spare. We'll see uh, what her finishing time is. Uh, it's a really flat course, so she might be going faster than expected. But uh, I was afraid we were gonna miss it. Now we, now we actually have some like hurry up and wait time. Yeah, Beth! Good job! Going so fast, woo! That's amazing. I'm so freaking proud of myself. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. Woo, woo. You look great. Thank you. I'll try. Don't have a hot hand. That's hard, but I, I'm excited to see what, look at my official time. Uh -uh. Uh. Good job. Oh. Off, that's right. Off. Tissue. Good job, bud. Wow. Yeah, look at you color. That's right, we color on the paper, don't we? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The paper. Okay. What are you doing? Cutting. Cutting? Cutting what? Cutting paper, and I'm turning the paper. Treasure. Into treasure? Yes. Ooh. Our dining room table is typically one of those like collection oh. zones that just gets covered and oh. is an unusable space. But last week we cleaned it off Ooh. and I've had several urges this week to go like put something on it. And I'm like, no, no, Jonathan, don't do it. Keep it clean. And it's already paying off because now we're just having family coloring time. Tell me all about your race today. Well, I just went out. I started with some friends that said they were gonna go slow, which I knew they weren't. But um, they were faster than me, so it's okay. I started with them, then I fell back from them a little bit, but I still was like, I'm gonna try to just go as fast as I think I can. Which isn't really a great race strategy, but it paid off and I went pretty fast for me. Did you set a new PR? Um, a PR post babies. I ran 10 minutes faster than when I ran a month ago, the same uh, distance, so that's a lot. Yeah. No, we're not throwing them. I'm, I'm trying to whip the treasure out of the paper things. You're making treasure? Yes, I'm trying to whip the paper out of the, this big paper Daddy, thing. I'm talking about his treasure for like half an hour. What are you, Harry Potter?